it's quite unique performing with uh, my sister because like I, I know her so well and she knows me so well too. Like when she, I, I see her on stage and we look into each other's eyes, we know what the other one is thinking and it's quite, quite nice. Quite fun. Quite yeah. unique. Yeah. And yeah, we played together from the really beginning. When I started cello and I was four mm -hmm. and I directly played with Julie, she was playing violin, so we directly played duet, always playing together also, so it's such an important thing for us. great experience when I played and I won a TV show in, uh, in France for classical musician, dance and singers. And it's a really nice TV show because uh, it shows the classical way to everyone and this is something which is very important for us to show classical things to people that maybe don't know it and don't listen to it. Maybe sometimes they are scared to come to classical concerts, so it's something very important for us to, to show to, every, to everyone that uh, everybody can, can love classical music, that it's in the film, in the movies, and, uh, and yes, so it was a very great experience because it's also opened us some doors to the more pop and modern uh, music and, uh, world, and yeah. worlds and some holes of pop music and so now we can do both classical and modern things and make a lot of collaborations also with pop singers in France and in other countries so it's really something we, we love and we want to, to continue on that way. I was two, uh, three months too old to, <laughs> yeah. to compete in the, this competition, it was called Prodige. And so I wasn't angry at all because I, I knew I was just like too old and that's a life thing I yeah, cannot we change. we made competitions, classical ones, for a very long time. So Yeah, we always did competitions together. I was just very, um, how do you say, stressed, nervous for her because I was in the hall and I was just watching her. I couldn't do anything and yeah, I just hoped she played good and she, she did, I think so. I, I was proud of her. I've after afterwards she she won so I was even happier but at that time we didn't know that it was going to be uh, such a huge thing yeah after so so yeah I was really happy and then we had the tour and the albums and that made us very happy because we were able to to record to develop yeah what we want to play so open classical music to younger younger people and now we see a lot of children and teens also coming to concerts uh, sometimes for the first time and sometimes dragging their parents with them so <laughs> yeah it's really nice we choose to record the Vivaldi Four Seasons for this album, which is the fifth one. So yeah, we waited a bit to record these Four Seasons because it's really something important for us. It's one of the first pieces that we listened when we were two and three years old, I think. Mm -hmm. It's the pieces that made us uh, want to, to, to play the music. So it's something very personal for, for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice. And Kemi, when she did this TV show, she played Vivaldi's Summer Third Movement, so yeah. it's also a, a great memory. So it's, uh, and we played Vivaldi our whole childhood, even like for the Fête de la Musique, like music feast uh, in June every year. We were in the street playing some Vivaldi duet, so it's we played many it a memories. Lot of times in concerts yeah. before to record it to know exactly what we wanted to to make on that musical thing with the public. Yeah, and last year we opened every show of the of the tour with Vivaldi Winter. So 
So yeah, we really loved the four seasons and we're really, really happy that we had the chance to record it. Yeah, and we wanted to make it both together. So Julie played two seasons and I played two, so we Lazy split it. people. <laughs> <laughs> so we split it. And uh, we wanted to make it in a modern way with a modern instrument and a, a, a really nice uh, orchestra in France, which is called the uh, Orchestre du Capital de Toulouse. Mm -hmm. So it was a really nice uh, musicians with us. So it was a great uh, recording. So exciting to know that we're going to play at the Royal Albert Hall. In May, we always dreamt about this playing hall. there because it's so famous in the so classical unique. world and yeah, it looks amazing. So um, I think we'll be quite nervous before <laughs> we enter on the stage, but yeah, we're and it's really the happy. First, it's the first hall that we make in the UK, so yeah. it's quite huge to start. But uh, it's such a, a great honor to be there. and uh, yeah, I, I hope, hope we'll play OK. <laughs> yeah. And we hope we'll have fun on stage and with yeah. the audience. Definitely. Well, in 2020, the best thing about classical music, I think, is that it can be shared so easily with so many people because we have uh, social medias, we have YouTube, Spotify, everything. So we can share the music all around the world and uh, everyone can listen to it without any barrier. There's so much freedom. So I think it's a great year, I hope. <laughs> Classical music in 2020 is something which is moving a lot. We feel there is a lot of much more children and very small ones, like two, three years old, coming to the concerts and uh, people from all the ages. And this is something which is really important for us and that we see that it's moving a lot and people see that there is less things that, yeah, they can come to the concert even if they never came to a classical concert mm -hmm. and they don't need to wear some special clothes. There is not anymore all these rules that people maybe thought about it before. So yeah, it become more open mind. And so it's really, really great. And we see things moving around the whole world. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs>